Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Yes, the Super Sunday game has just literally finished as I'm recording this. Um, obviously it depends on what sort of time you're watching and how long it's been. Um, I think we've seen the good, the bad and the ugly of VAR this weekend. Um, you know, where's the um, Leicester goal? Um, which was very much on the side, but for some reason the linesman raised his flag. VAR gave that goal. A um, couple of penalty shouts, um, and I'll get more down to them as I'll get down to the fixtures. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Crystal Palace versus Bournemouth. Crystal Palace beating Burnley 2-0 away from home. Bournemouth leads a 3-2 away to Tottenham. Um, great three points for Crystal Palace. Uh, you know, that's not beat around the bush. Um, Burnley have been strong at home in the past few weeks. Um, and Bournemouth were very fortunate not to get the uh, third goal. Um, it's going to be an interesting weekend. Um, as I showed up, you can see the table um, on the top left. Um, you know, Palace sitting in 11th place, Bournemouth sitting in 12th. This is very much a change of place game come the end of the 90 minutes. But Palace are playing at home. Got to be very, um, you know, good at home. Especially after that result against Burnley. And um, Bournemouth on a bit of a down on which one I'll go for a 2 0 Palace win. My next one is Burnley versus Manchester City. Manchester City drawing 2 2 away to Newcastle. And Birmingham just that you, uh, not Birmingham, Burnley just that you mentioned them, um, losing to Palace 2 0 at home. That Manchester City game. Uh, I think Manchester City had a very poor day uh, overall. Um, you know, let's let's not you know be clever or smart. But I was expecting City to go to Newcastle, and you know, not no disrespect to Newcastle to give them a bit of a you know three 0 four 0 But fair play to Newcastle. Um, good goal by Shelby as well. And while I'm on the city end, good goal by De Gruyne. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Manchester City win. My next one is Chelsea versus Aston Villa. Chelsea losing 1-0 at home to West Ham. Um, you know, very disappointing day for Chelsea. Um, Villa 2-2 at Old Trafford. Um, away to United, just in case you don't know their ground name. Um, good point for Villa. Um, yes, they went 1-0 up. Yes, United came back 1-0. Yes, United went 2-1 up. And then Villa got the equaliser, so fair play to Villa. Um, Chelsea had a very disappointing day indeed. Um, you know, the lights of... You know, Tommy Abraham and that, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Watford. Leicester, uh, not Leicester, sorry, Watford have sat their manager. He's had 85 days in charge. I don't find that respectful for uh, Watford as a club. I don't find that respectful as the board. I don't. I think they gave him not long, eighty-five days. I think it was about six games, six to eight games. Not long enough. Only I can only see what's going in one direction now. Um, but obviously, coming up to a busy Christmas period, you know, a lot can change. Um, 
Leicester um, doing uh, beating Everton 2 1 at home. Um, and Watford 2 2 1 losers away to uh, Southampton. Tell more about that Southampton game when I get down to their fixture. Leicester. I still think Farley should have had a penalty. Just say again my opinion. As I said at the top of this video, I've seen the good and the ugly of VAR this weekend. Um, Leicester got a goal thanks to VAR. Um, this, this situation with Leicester, this is why I was so hungry for it to come into the Premier League. But let me finish. I don't like the way the Premier League are using it. I find it disrespectful to the league in you know in title. I find it disrespectful to the fans. I find it disrespectful to the you know even the players. I mean, I stated it on last week's prediction. You're supposed to be no more what's going on. I ain't seen it. Come on, Mike Riley, where is it? Cause I ain't seen it. Um, but that that's the goal. As I said, brought in by VAR. Um, sorry, counted by VAR. VAR didn't bring the goal in. That would have been a weird one. Um, but, um, you know, thanks to VAR, goal stood. Now, if we didn't have VAR, that goal would have been offside. That would have been the end of it. That's why VAR is good. And that's why I like it. Um, Miles on side. I saw it on Sky. I don't know about you lot. Um, please feel free to put comments down below. But I... That's why I like it. And, uh, you know, Leicester got the three points, which was, I think, after Leicester uh, got the uh, goal back, you know, I did find a bit of an iffy game. But, yet again, we've seen the time wasting um, from Everton's perspective this week. Um, and it's gone against Everton. That's why I say don't time waste while you're drawing. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Leicester win. My next one is Manchester United versus Tottenham Hotspur. Man United 2-2 at home to Aston Villa. Um, Tottenham 3-2 winners at home to Bournemouth. Um, disappointed on Man United's perspective. I don't know why. Um, you know, we still got to look at the likes of Tottenham, United, City, Leicester, you know, the top 10 team, um, no matter what the table states. Um, but disappointed on Man United's perspective, and a bit disappointed on Tottenham's perspective, even though they got three points. I think give it a couple of weeks, the honeymoon period would be over for Tottenham. Way that Solskjaer's going, I can't see him being charged for too much longer. But obviously, it's up to Ed Goodwin and the Man United board how long he stays in for. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Norwich. Norwich, um, 2 2 at home to Arsenal. Southampton, 2 1 away. To Watford, uh, at home to Watford, sorry. Um, right, let's get this ugly side cleared up. The way the Premier League used the VAR, and this is why I don't like it in the Premier League. I still like VAR as in general, but unless Premier League back their ideas up, I don't like it. Um, I think it's Southampton's equaliser. Um, basically, a player controlled it with his hand. Um, it bounced. I can't remember what player bounced off either. Bounced off one of the Watford players, and the Southampton player put it down with his hand. Clear handball. Um, the goal stood, surprisingly, and the Premier League have stated there weren't enough camera angles. To cover that, and I didn't realise till ten minutes later he handballed it. 
Premier League, what are you doing? You've got about eight different camera angles. And don't tell me you've done that that quick because, as you know, I'm a fan of the MLS. And even they can't do it that quick. So stop thinking you're bigger than what you are. Um, but as I said, good, bad, the ugly of the VAR. But I'm so annoyed with that. Um, you know, what we're saying, oh, if you do a quick handball, we ain't going to see it. I mean, come on, Premier League. Start, start stepping up. Um, but that's frustrating me. I've seen um, a couple of things on social media. How can they not spot it till 10 minutes later after the game's gone? And we spot it 2 minutes on social media. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Unless the Premier League back their ideas up, I'll get rid of the VAR because... You're not using it properly. Um, I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. How can you say you ain't spotted that? So what what's made the difference within 10 minutes? I mean, I don't see a difference. What, you saw the Sky Sports cameras or not good enough Premier League? Um, but, you know, VAL did its job and picked it up. Um it's going to be such an interesting game this weekend, but I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Wolverhampton versus West Ham. West Ham beating Chelsea 1-0 away from home. Wolverhampton Wanderers drawing 1-1 at home to Sheffield United. Um, Wolverhampton went 1-0 down in that game. Um, you know, fair play to Wolverhampton. Uh, top of the table clash up was not literally, I understand, metaphorically. Um, but a good three points for West Ham. Which I'm going to go for a 2 1 Wolverhampton win. My next one is the Merseyside Derby. It's Liverpool versus Everton. Now, by the time this game is played, is Marco Silva still going to be in a job? Um, Liverpool 2-1 winners at home to Brighton and Ive Albion. Um, very lucky I thought uh, Liverpool were. Uh, Everton um, losing 2-1 away to Leicester City. Well, I'm going to talk about this Liverpool result. Um, as I said, I think they're very lucky. Brighton did have the chances to get back into it. But then, like I always do, put a shot on the other foot. Liverpool could be about 5 6 them up before Brighton got their first goal. Um, Everton, oh, they had their own downfall for that Leicester second goal. Here's why um, Everton player, I can't remember what player it was either, typical me. Um, he went down, didn't, the Leicester player didn't hardly touch him. Um, he went down complaining he's out or whatever, um, which then put a minute on to the added time that is already in added time. Um, it was three minutes, so the clock should have gone to 93 minutes. Um, but because that player was down, they put an extra minute on, and the goal happened in the 94th minute. Um, I think if the Premier League are going to start using this VAR, whatever way they're doing. If you're down faking an injury, send him off. If he's, you know, time wasting, anything past 20 seconds, straight red. I think if the Premier League are going to really start, you know, putting fair play rules in this game, they're going to need to start hitting the ground hard on the players. Half of them might get overturned, but, you know, 10 men can make a change to the game. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 4-0 Liverpool win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Newcastle. Um, Sheffield United 1-1 away to Wolverhampton. Um, Newcastle 2-2 at home to Man City. Great point for Newcastle. Great point, by, uh, great goal by Shelby. Um, I think Newcastle did have the York. Good chance to uh, beat City there as well. Um, if you're a Newcastle fan, please feel free to put your comments down below if you've changed your mind about Steve Bruce. Um, Sheffield United went 1-0 up against Wolverhampton. 1-1 one, one 
find that a fair result because how good both clubs are playing. And I'll go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My last one for this weekend is Arsenal versus Brighton. Um, Arsenal have sat in night Emery. They did before the Norwich game. They did, I think it's Friday morning. Um, I think, yet again, Arsenal are better out of order. Let me finish. You gave, the, you gave the manager 18 months. That's not long. That's what, a year and a half? Now, I know it's easier when you're a fan, like you forget about things, and I do. Um, the fair play rules, you got to stand by. I don't think you're not Henry had enough time. I really don't. I think he should have seen maybe his contract out. Um, you know, draw into Norwich. Yeah, still be a bit disappointed if I was an Arsenal fan. Um, Brighton losing 2 1 away to Liverpool. As I said, very unlucky not to draw that game. Um, but on the other foot, um, I think this game's got to be interesting for a matter of reasons. Um, Freddie Umberg, will it be Freddie Umberg's first home game in charge or will they have someone in? Um, but it's got to be a very interesting game indeed. But for this one, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give yourself a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for them.